Hello and welcome. I'm super excited to show you about this productivity tool called Tab Extend. So Tab Extend is an extension in Google Chrome, so you will need to install it. And once you do, it is helpful if you make an account just so it can save your screens you're going to be using it for and all of the helpful things that you'll be using it for to save yourself time and productivity. So this tool is a freemium, so there is a paid version. Benefit of the paid version is you can do a little bit more customizations, but you could certainly get by on the free one. I have been using it for quite some time now and feel like the free version is exactly what I need. So what Tab Extend allows you to do is to create different groups for the frequently used tabs and maybe bookmarks that you use on a regular basis, but it also allows you to make checklists and to-do list items so that versus having multiple tabs open and trying to sift through bookmark bars and folders and things like that, this keeps it all in this helpful dashboard for you so you can move and work from there. And you can even set up some notifications and because it's Chrome, it saves across devices. So if you wanna use this for personal and work, you totally could pretty fantastic. So the first time you'll go in, you'll make an account and then it probably creates some categories here for you. The ones that I believe it said for me the first time I signed in was like quick links, um, read later, and then tools. So I wanted to change some of my things on here. So these are my workspaces that I have set up now. And if I want to make a different series of workspaces, I would need to have the premium plan. But right now I have these this workspace here and these are the categories within this workspace. So these are the things I'm going to drag and drop links under. If I need more, if I click this three dot button, this allows me to make a new group if I would like. And then these are the categories that I made right here. So you can add more if you would like. So if I wanted to name this something like reminders, I could, I can move it around. I can even share this with someone else if I wanted to, but I'll just save that for now. Okay. So if I wanted to add websites to this, it's pretty easy to do. So control G allows me to see all the links I have in this over here, shows me active tabs and those pieces. So if I wanted to create some of these or add a bookmark for a website that I use pretty often, I can go here and I can give it access to my bookmarks. Personally, I have so many bookmarks that I don't wanna do that because it's gonna put way too many things that I go to that maybe I used to go to, but not as often as I do anymore. All right, so I have this open on one tab and you see my little Canva icons over here. So I can drag and drop and move it over to this frequently used links now. Uh, maybe if I want this to be in my do now, I can drag it there and do whatever. It's a little sandwich. You can change your icon there if you want, um, but you can make it whatever you would like. So for this example, I moved it there. If I don't want it to be there anymore, I can drag it back. I can rearrange it, do whatever I need to do but I'm gonna put Canva on here again so I can show you another way of doing this. So if I have Canva open, um, you wanna pin the tab extend. I find this to be better than what I just showed you because I don't like to drag and drop. I like to just do things on one screen. Uh, so if I pin my tab extend, so it's here at the top, then what I can do now is if I wanna make Canva one of these websites that I frequently go to, I can go up to my tab extend and I can name this uh, Canva, do whatever I would like. I can put a little note here if I want, whatever I need to do. And then I can turn this into a to-do list item. If I need to make a design in Canva, I can pin this tab so it doesn't close if I don't want it to. And then right now it is set to where it's going into my to-do list, but I can always go back and change this. So I can add this. right and if i wanted to change the color of it i can if i like to color code things i can turn it in a to-do list item if i would like and i can save it okay so now because i had canva marked under my to-do list item i even have a checklist item that is there now so the cool thing about this is that as i go and i do a bunch of different websites like if i just open up google docs and let's imagine that like I have meeting notes or things on here, then what's really cool is I can come back to tab extend and now I have a Google Docs one here. So if I wanted to put this into my do now, like if I want to also add this here, then I have another website. So it makes it so I don't have a zillion tabs open. I can get to any one of those tabs from this screen now. It is truly my all-in-one dashboard. And if I ever need to open tab extend again, I can get to it from this menu 
but I, anytime I open a new tab, it's also going to show it there. So it lets me manage my tabs a little bit easier and I can make all of my little checklist items here as well. I can color code them if I would like. If I don't want this to be here anymore, I can put this in a different group or I can duplicate it in case I'm going to Google Docs a lot. You could really make a hub here of all of the resources and links that you use often. So if I'm wearing my teacher hat, I would probably put my Canvas here, my PowerSchool, my PowerTeacher Pro, my Google Drive textbook tools that I use frequently. So it's all there on one screen. So I'm not having to click and click and click and open all these different tabs every single day. So that is Tab Extend. Let me know what you think. I have been using it for some time now, both in my work life and then also personal life with all of the different tabs and things I have. And I found it to be super helpful, especially if you're someone who runs on to-do lists and checklists. It's nice because you can cross off items and have your websites there as a reminder. And don't have to remember what link to open because it saves it there for you. So good luck. And I hope this helps with your productivity and managing the chaos of all of your Chrome tabs.